Hey guys, it's Tells, and today we're going to go and do the details damage meter. How to install it, how to set it up, how to use it. So I'm going to WoW up. You can go to Curse Forge or any of the other ones that you want to use. I'm going to go to get more add-ons, search for details. There it is, right there on top. Click on install. Okay. All right, now it's installed. I'm going to bring up WoW. Okay, guys, so once you've installed details, once you bring it up, it's going to come up to a very quick tutorial. It's going to ask you, where do you want your box? How big do you want your box? What font do you want your box? That's what it's going to do. It's going to leave you with this box. So with the box, you can move it. You can put it anywhere you want. It's by dragging it on the title bar. You can resize it by grabbing either of the bottom corners. You can lock it in position so it can't be moved. It can be stretched by grabbing the little tab at the top. And the reason you do that is, let's say that you were in a raid and you wanted to see more people than were showing in the box, you just drag it up and they're all there. Okay, so let me show you how to make multiple boxes real quick so you can track multiple things. Hover over your gear, and you'll go to Window Control, Create Window. Here's another box. If you want to link these boxes, see how it's red? Bring it into where it turns green, and let it go. Now you've got these selected as a group. You would have to unlock it in order to move the window wherever you want to. Okay, so the reason we're doing this is whenever you see streamers, usually they've got more than one going on. So we've got just the damage here. I'm going to clear this out. And on this one, it shows healing done overall. But what we're going to do is right-click on the title bar. It's going to bring up a list of everything that you can track in the details window. You can do damage, you can do healing, resources. This is where you can show buffs, interrupts, total deaths, uh, damage over time, dynamic damage over time, which is what we're going to do now. So scroll up here and go to dynamic overall damage. Okay, so let's show you how this works. Target dummy, I'm going to start blowing this guy up. And what you're going to see is the dynamic one changes all the time and it's real time every time that something happens as the damage is ticking it's being displayed there the other one only updates once in a while so it's just a matter of preference over which one do you look at but at the end of a dungeon if you want to see who did how much you would want to look at damage done not dynamic the dynamic will stop after you get out of combat so here you've got two windows you've got them tracking separate things sometimes you'll see people tracking a third one it'll be healing so let's separate these. Let's say you just want to go back to one window. Go over the, the gear. Go to options panel. Here's your options panel. It defaults to display, but what you want to do is come down here to window body. Come down where it says delete. Hit the drop down. Select the window you want to delete. And then click delete. It's going to reload your screen and leave you with just the one window. So what do we use details for? Well, we use it to track our damage. We use it to track our healing. You can use it to track interrupts, deaths. Um, so just as an example, the damage I did to this target dummy a minute ago, I'm going to click on my name. It's going to bring up this window. It's going to show you the spells that I used, the targets that I hit. If I click on the individual spell, it's going to show you how many times that I cast it, how, many, how much damage did it do, how many critical strikes were there, how much damage did they do, and you can look at everything this way. If you're in a party, you can have the list of party members right here where you can click through and see who did what. This is great for tracking interrupts. So right-click on the title bar, and you go to interrupts, and I didn't interrupt this thing. But in a dungeon, you would see the number of interrupts that each party member did. This is important when you're doing keys. Anyway, thanks. This has just been a, a general and quick understanding of how to load, install, and use Details Damage Meter. Thank you.